everyone and welcome back i'm your host today mr mobile and today as you can see we are on the main mobile scrap channel now if you haven't already remember to join the scrappy discord link right here when you go into the channel now today's video is going to be 15 minutes roughly long and um we're just going to take this video all the way up to new year so um yeah I think what we're going to do today is we're going to introduce obviously the new character later. We're going to look back at the videos of 2020 and we'll even talk about some new rules and stuff that are going to be coming to the channel and what to expect in the new year. So I thought, you know, why don't we start back? Like when would we even start in 2020? Look at all these videos I've been bringing out, huh? Now, so it was roughly a bite, but it was actually further down, wow. So here we are. This is where we started to do video after video after video per day. This was the first one, or was it this one? Might be in the actual intro was the first video that was part of it. Maybe, just maybe. But, um... We had all these ones from 2020, we had the, I didn't even know these were in 2020, but it's great, it's just great to see us. But remember guys, at the end of this episode, we are going to be indeed introducing the new character, and they're very excited. Yeah, they're giving me a creepy smile, they're very excited. Um, so yeah, there's a year there. So, a year basically started right here, at the Jumanji build. The Jew Manjibel. <laughs> so it was the first one of this year. Now it was good and all. Let's just mute the channel and stuff. It was good and all. You know, building the, But we didn't talk in it. It's only got two likes and only 150 views. But it, it was a great video, so it was. And I loved building it as well. The Jumanji movie was pretty good. I preferred the original like. But look at that quality. That quality is ugh, horrible. <laughs> it's pretty laggy. But yeah, that was the first episode, or first video we done of this year. Now we had, then I had this video, how to join the Scrap Clan, and if you didn't know, the Discord server is indeed called the Scrap Clan. It was indeed a actual Fortnite clan when I first created it, because I just thought, you know what, I can't be bothered doing stuff with other people's clans, so I'm just going to create my own. But, um, yeah, no one joined it, I think maybe two people joined it at the time. But now we're at 50 people because I made it my official YouTube thingy, the bobber. And we also had the Fortnite Rocket League back then and the famous characters in the wrong dimensions. Boy oh boy did I get a lot of um, copyright strikes in that there video. But yeah, theory, just yeah stuff and even the scrap mechanic theory like. The scrap mechanic theory, never heard of it before for me. But this was the era of the scrap mechanic, Mr. Mobile. These videos here, I didn't really go on after that. But I decided I would model some bots. So this was my first one here. It's basically like a, like you know, a, I don't know, a wrecking ball kind of guy. Yeah, a wrecking ball bot. So he looked really cool. Like I was pretty impressed with him. Of course, the textures were weird because I did something wrong with them. But then the most famous one I got out of all of them was the second one. Now I don't know why this guy got so many views, but like he was doing tremendously well. Of course he got for some reason a lot of dislikes. I don't know what they were expecting when they clicked on the video, but it obviously was not for them and they disliked it. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's what that was mostly all the bots. We that was the last bot I ever created. Maybe I'll get back into the bot building business. But then we got to this episode where we started building a video game with viewers. And um, you can go in that video. There is a Discord link to a server where we are actually building a couple of games. So if you have the talent to help build a game, then go ahead and join that Discord server. All right, but anyway, another theory on Scrap Mechanic. We did build a ginormous vending machine. That was a struggle, that there. 
but it was a lot of fun, especially the painting side. And then building the mechanics inside of it was pretty cool as well. Then we built a giant cucumber box. I don't know what I was expecting to do with this, but yeah, it came out really well. And I was pretty impressed with it. But then we tried to build the warehouse. Now, of course, most of you viewers are Fortnite supporters. You probably don't know what Scrap Mechanic is. It's a game where you go around and the world's been taken over by robots that humans made to farm with. And um, they're getting a pretty cool update this new year, which I might do a video on. But anyway, I did the part one, building the fence. Oh, whoopie do! Got five furious hole. Oh. But then I made the elevator, and I noticed that but this here, a warehouse is meant to be three times smaller than what it's actually meant to be. So it was quite a challenge trying to make that elevator five times smaller, but I did eventually get it. Probably have to crouch inside or something. But then there came the Mario Kart, the very first Mario Kart one. 2,000 likes, 40, 2,000 likes, that would be amazing. <laughs> 2,000 views, zero dislikes believe it or not, but 46 likes. And that was when we built three different like Mario Kart tracks from Mario Kart Wii. Because Mario Kart Wii was my favourite Mario Kart game, I didn't know that. And um, this was one of my favourite levels. A lot of them were my favourite levels, but this was, what was it called? Something more. I can't remember these things guys, but um... Yeah, that was that one. Then we had Moo Moo Meadows, but of course we don't have walking cows in Fortnite, so I got husks instead. Then we got Rainbow Road. Actually, you know what? I'll say the name at the start of the video, won't it? Coconut Mall, there we go. But then for Rainbow Road, I built my own Rainbow Road, and it was pretty nice. I'd love to try and make this community or something, and like actually drive around it in a kind of Mario Kart kind of style. That would be pretty cool. But then there came these like, Fortnite videos where the huge channel announcement, revamping the channel, Ooh, new team, mini games, more builds coming, more. Yeah, great, great title, Mr. Mobile, great title. But um, yeah, I did a video with like a team, and I just felt like it wasn't really my thing, so I stopped, and um. Yeah, now I just do it with random viewers instead, and it is a lot more exciting. You get to play with different people all the time, and it's great fun. So if you want to be part of that, join my streams, people. What are you doing? But anyway, we made more trailers, made a museum prop hunt. It's pretty cool. More scrap mechanic randomly placed there. Um, another Mario Kart one that really didn't go as well. It still hasn't hit a thousand views, which I'm very surprised by, but it was more Wii. Yeah, it was more Wii race tracks, and I actually did four in that one. I did um, Wario's Thingy Mabob or Wario's Mine, is it called? I can't remember. But then there came the era of challenges or competition. There's a YouTuber called Mustard Plays. And he does like a, every season he asks for you to build a map based on the new season. So that was for season 4, that was the Marvel, yeah, Marvel series. And I actually got in the video, it was like, there were three of you that like, did tremendously well or whatever he said. And I was in it, I was one of the three. What did you do? I, thought, I, I actually thought it looked like Wizard of Oz, but um, yeah, it's Asgard. <laughs> But then we got to the trailer, why don't we play this fantastic thing here. Always has been. Okay. Subscribe, yep, subscribe. But then there came the Roblox era. Oh, the Roblox. We love the Roblox in this channel, don't we? And I like making the thumbnails. The thumbnails are screwed for probably my favourite bit. But um, yeah, the Roblox came, and I did enjoy making the thumbnails, and for some reason, this Roblox video got 240 views. I don't know what I did, I don't know what was so interesting about it compared to the first one, 245 people clicked on it. Oh well, the era of me becoming a popular 
YouTuber for Fortnite creative tutorials. We made the How to Create a Dead Body Reported in Fortnite Creative. 8,000 views. 8,000? And that's only since September. That is insane for my channel. It's got half the amount of likes of my my subscribe subscribers yeah my subscribers that was when i first became popular just because of that video before that video i had 88 subscribers and then before this year i had at the start of this year i had 34 subscribers so yeah big leap this year um but then we just did tutorial after tutorial after tutorial 8k 6k 2.3k 1.5k views then we just got 11 views on that one there it was another minecraft one then i did none for minecraft one realized they weren't going too well so i just went on ahead and made some more tutorials so i got 4.6 thousand views on that one because people were really struggling on the voting system then i started doing videos in the prefabs the galleries and then the building and that, that's probably one of my favorite series guys in this channel i really enjoy doing it and then we did the thumbnail stuff. It was weird. Like, look at Jonesy's face there. That's a bit creepy. But we did basic, we did advanced. People kind of liked those. They weren't doing too bad. Then we did hubs as well. New Smash character got him for Christmas. But then, um, season 5 came. And of course, as I said before, the YouTuber was going to do another build challenge. So I was doing some streams and that. And all that good stuff. And then more theories, more prefabs. There's the trailer there for actually. I finished it in 10 days, believe it or not. So that was only half the time. And it's a great show. I tried to recreate the season 5 trailer, which was interesting. Then more theories and stuff. And the new devices came out. It got quite a lot of views on that. But then there came Mr. Mobile's 5 Days of Christmas. And it was pretty fun. I really enjoyed it. But, um,. As you can see, 55 views, 35 views, 17 views, 17 views, and 10 views. Nobody wanted to watch on Christmas Day. Oh well. But uh, my favourite one had to have been that I made my channel Christmas theme. That was my favourite one. But then we just made some more memey kind of videos with the Enjoy the Gift one and the Art Piece one. Then we made the Tackle ones. And that leaves us today, guys, with all of that. So yeah, we did a lot. We did a lot in 2020. 500 subscribers, believe it or not, in three months. Like, that's quite a lot of subscribers if you ask me. We're halfway there, guys, to getting a cool, and that's pretty exciting. Guys, yeah, just a short little break here into the video, and I just want to say, Happy New Year! Should have just happened right now. Uh, has happened for you then happy new year early or late but it's new year now for me anyway and back to the video but um yeah and look at that all my popular videos are literally just tutorials and how to make among us but i find that quite funny but uh, anyway i think we should introduce the new character what do you think hmm? you want to introduce yourself come on Wanna say hello? There we go. Guys, yeah, this is the new character to the channel. You wanna tell them their name? Yeah, he's a bit shy, but his name's Scrappy. I invented him. Yeah, he's quite cool. I basically wanted a dog, but didn't want to clean up the mess. So I thought, you know what, why don't I just make a mechanical dog? And I made him out of a toaster and a few more bits and bobs. But yeah, he's going to be the new character. He's going to make some appearances every so often around the channel. Are you excited, Buster? Yeah, I bet you you are. Now I'm going to just go over some new kind of changes that are going to happen to the channel. This includes streaming and uploading times onto YouTube. Now, the first thing is I'm going to be uploading now two hours later than usual this is just because some days i'm late on videos and that's because i'm not home till the time that i usually upload and i have to think of something out in my head that's why i've been uploading some of those stupid videos that are like 20 seconds long because i'm just running out of time 
So these extra two hours are going to give me literally two full hours to record a new video, which will actually be interesting for you guys, hopefully. They'll hopefully have better editing in them, which is going to be great because I know you guys like watching a nice fluent video. And um, yeah, now on to the stream changes. Streaming is going to be a big difference in 2021. My streams are obviously going to stay the same as usual, but um, I got a new toy for Christmas to do with streams, to help me with streams. Maybe you know what it is, but I'm not going to tell you till my stream. And basically, it makes my streams look like a video that I am streaming. Um, basically a fake stream. That's how much better this here is going to make my streams. It is a fantastic little gadget, guys. So I hope you are excited to see the stream update. It is going to be fantastic. But until then... What's that, Scrappy? Oh, Scrappy says like the video, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, he said hit the subscribe button. We need to get to a thousand so we can get a code. Is that better? Do I add it a bit more on? But it's it's fine. Okay, it's fine. But um, yeah. So, wh why are you in the video? Oh, no, 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 no.